My name is Carlisle Searson. I live in Watford. I was born in Watford. I still live on the same property that I was born in. That was back in 1939. So that gives you an idea how old I am. <laughs> now, can you tell me a bit about the the history of the sawmill, especially how it relates to your family? Okay, I can I can go back. Uh, I'll start back in 1928. My grandfather bought a Sawyer Massey steam engine and a thrashing outfit. When my dad got up to the age of 18, he and his brother Bob took over the thrashing outfit. And that's what dad made a living at, as well as farming. Well, then the engine sat idle through the off season. So in order to do something with it, to make use of it, he bought the sawmill. He bought the sawmill from the Sanders family off the Suitable Road at the old village of Suitable. And that was in 1934. And he set the mill up out on the 12th line of Brook, which is now Churchill, I believe. And then in 1936, he bought the property in Watford, right on the south end of town. He moved the mill in there and set it up. When you say he bought the mill, uh, he bought all the equipment, is that right? The idea? Yeah. And then he built his own building when he came yeah. into town? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you talked to me earlier about uh, this mill going out of use in 1918. Uh, that was the last it would used until yep. until your father bought it. Right. Mm -hmm. And it just sat out there and was in decayed form. Dad had to completely rebuild all the wooden parts of it and set it up when he did. Mm -hmm. And that particular frame and everything is still in use today. That's the same frame that he redid in 1934. That's quite amazing. Yeah. People don't think of machinery being that old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, like I say, the mill, the mill was actually bought brand new by the Saunders family in 1875. So, Where would they buy a, uh, a mill like that? I believe it was an American outfit. They mm -hmm. bought it over in the States, probably Port Huron, but I'm yeah. not positive of that. Yeah. They wouldn't have to worry about the border at those times. No. <laughs> I think people crossed pretty freely back then. It was one country was the same as well, the other. I think so. Yeah. 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 Now, uh, you've been involved in the mill since you were born, right? Basically, yeah. Yeah. Since I was old enough to lift a board. Mm -hmm. so. Now, we started out as kids, like we uh, piled the wood. The slab wood that was resold for firewood for cooking back in those days, and cleaning up after the mill was shut down for the night, and and as we gradually got older and bigger and stronger, why we took over. Mm -hmm. We were doing men's work when we were young kids. Yes, and that was customary for everybody back in those days. Uh -huh. Whether it was farmers, everybody that had their own business, the kids. People worked at it, and nowadays it's child labor. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but then if you were strong enough, you were yep. out, out there doing the work. If you were big enough and strong enough, you did it. Mm -hmm. uh, did you enjoy the work? No. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> when the rest, the rest of the kids that went to school, or that I went to school with after, after four, they'd go play it. I had to go home and go to work. Mm -hmm. So no, I didn't enjoy it. Uh, what kid would? <laughs> yeah. Now you you had brothers and sisters. No, I had one brother older than myself and two younger. Yes. So. And they also got involved. Yep. As they came online, they got involved. Now today, 
the mill is not used in the same way it was before. It's not every day there's a no. crew in there working. No, it, it's uh, basically classed as a hobby. Mm -hmm. But uh, we do custom work for area farmers or anybody that needs a log or two cut, mm -hmm. which is getting less and less all the time. How long has it been since the, the mill was a, a full-time working operation? 77. My dad died in November of 77. Mm -hmm. And it basically sat idle till 82 mm -hmm. when I did a bit of rebuilding and started up and doing custom work. So you were away from the, from home at that time and, and came back? Yep. Mm -hmm. Where did you work in the meantime? I started out working for Bruce Sharp right in Watford in the carpenter business. And then I eventually went to Sarnia and worked building houses up there for quite a period of time. I, I built houses for 12 or 14 years. Mm -hmm. And then I joined the carpenters union in Sarnia and I worked in the plants for 32 years until I retired. Really? You built houses for 10 or 12 years, yeah. and then you worked for 34 years? Yeah. It's a long work life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you saw upstairs a, a picture of uh, William Leslie McKay, or Mackay, I'm not sure which McKay. way. McKay. They pronounced it McKay. Mm -hmm. Did you knew him? I knew him uh, vaguely. I was just a kid, but I was out there at his mill with my dad. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I didn't know who he was. 